Hello students. In this series of videos, you're going to learn about an interesting area of mathematics called the Theorem of Pythagoras. So to start with, what exactly is a theorem? Where well, a theorem is just a statement about mathematics that's been proven to be true. And it's been proven to be true just by using logical, logical reasoning. And Pythagoras turns out to be a fellow that lived about two and a half thousand years ago in ancient Greece. He actually didn't uh, discover this theorem of mathematics, but he was the one that sort of made it well known in his uh, homeland of Greece. So in the end, he, he got credit for something that he didn't invent. Now the Pythagorean theorem is a statement about right angle triangles and also about the areas of squares. The ancient Egyptians knew about the Pythagorean theorem. So if they took a piece of rope, put 12 knots in it, equally spaced, and then tied it into a loop, it turned out they could use that rope to make a triangle. And it turns out from the Pythagorean theorem that this angle down here is a right angle triangle. So the Egyptians were able to use the Pythagorean theorem to use to help them build their help them build their pyramids. Because they could use this to make sure that the angles in the corners of the pyramids were actually at 90 degrees and not 89 degrees or 91 degrees. Turns out the Pythagorean theorem in modern day life is used often to find uh, unknown lengths. So for example, we've got a tower here, uh, 50 feet high. Uh, the distance from the tower to where we're going to plug the guy wire in or attach the guy wire to the ground is 70 feet. And we can use the Pythagorean theorem to work out what the length of the guy wire has to be. And that's an example of what we call indirect measurement. So you can't actually measure that because it doesn't exist yet. At the moment, it's just a drawing. But you can actually work out how long it has to be without, without actually measuring it. And it turns out with the Pythagorean theorem, you can get it as um, accurate as you want. So not just to the nearest foot, but you can actually work out the exact length to a, a tenth of a foot or a hundredth of a foot and so on. Um, another example where you might use Pythagoras if you're building um, a bridge and here's the beams of the bridge and you know how far apart the beams are. You also know how tall the bridge is going to be. You can use the Pythagorean theorem to work out how long that truss has to be or each of these trusses has to be. And again, you can use the theorem to work it out as accurately as you need. So you don't have to worry about a measurement error. You can work it out precisely. And to finish off this particular video, have a look at this interesting question. Okay, you've got a three, three squares made out of gold, each one centimeter thick. Okay, now you have a choice. You can choose the single large square marked A, or you can choose uh, the two smaller squares marked B. So they're all equal thickness. Now, which of those uh, two choices is better? Is it better to have the one large square or the two small squares? And the Pythagorean theorem will help you to work out the uh, correct answer for that if you're trying to maximize the amount of gold that you get. Okay, so what we're going to do next before we get into the actual theorem itself is just teach you a little bit about number, maybe some things that you don't know. Okay, we'll see you in the next video.